just be the best. For those people who stay tuned right to the very end, we're going to have some exclusive discounts on all of these products and more. So be sure to tune all the way through. Now, it's not just going to be my pretty face you're going to be looking at during this live cast. No, I'm joined by some guests. First up, it is Sagan Yeltsin, CEO, influencer, and the founder of Sell Any Car. Sagan, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good. This is your first live cast. Are you excited to be here? Absolutely. <laughs> <Can't you see>? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we are also joined with a woman who knows a great many things about these products. It's Samsung's TV product expert, Dina. How are you doing? I'm all good, Tom. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Um, I know this isn't your first live cast. Yeah, it's not. Uh, let us also welcome our friends at home. Uh, good evening, Samsung friends at home. We're very glad that we're back and you're watching this show tonight. Uh, we're going to take you on a journey across our 2021 products. So stay tuned. We've got lots of uh, offers for you at the end of the show. And we're glad you're here. We are glad. Um, and we did this, uh, Dean and I, before. And we had a lot of fun. And we're looking forward to kind of having some more fun with you guys at home, joined by Sagan, of course. Before we begin, though, Dina, um, you need to let the audience in on what exactly we're going to be looking at today. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to take you on a journey across the 2021 products. Today, we're going to display and show the QN900A TV. It's a new QLED 8K TV, as you see here. And also, we're going to show them the Q950A soundbar. Cool, very cool. So let's start at face value. Um, and with you, Sagan. Uh, it's 2021, what exactly do you look for in a TV these days? I mean, look at it, it looks beautiful. So first of all, it needs to fit the style of my living room, right? But then also quality, mm. so the picture quality, you can tell this. I have a previous version, but this one looks amazing. So I think first of all, it's the looks, then yeah. the inner values. Well, I've, yeah, I've seen your Instagram, um, you're a pretty stylish guy. I would imagine uh, your house shares a similar aesthetic. It does, so you can look it up. <laughs> we'll, we will do. Um, so, Dina, it's pretty clear that this is a, an excellent looking screen. Um, what makes it unique? Okay, so if you are concerned about the design, uh, we're the only TV in the market that offers an infinity screen design. So, as you can see here, it's a bezel-less uh, TV, almost 99% screen to body ratio. You get to enjoy the immersive viewing experience of the whole, th all of the whole th uh, scene uh, without any distractions. Uh, the TV uh, also uh, gets connected with a slim one connect box that we have changed from previous year's models. Previously, we used to have it looking like a rectangular shape. This year, it's a square slim shape and it's attachable at the back of the TV. Uh, here you get to connect all your external devices uh, through HDMI's and LAN or Ethernet ports and then you get to watch everything without having a mess of lousy wires falling from the TV. So you get to see only the image. Uh, as you can see, the TV is very beautiful. It's a, it's a, an, a great masterpiece inside your living room, your bedroom uh, or any space that you put in. So that's fantastic because I absolutely hate wires. Um, now, Sagan, uh, over the last 12 months, I think people have spent a lot of time at homes. Um, do you think kind of the role of the television in people's lives has, has changed? I mean, obviously, we've been kind of locked down, right? So uh, we have been physically distanced, but then socially connected through these devices. And that's important. So you invest into it. I look at it as an investment. Plus, people who know me, uh, they know me as a collector of gaming consoles from the early 90s till today I have mm. all the consoles while I'm not uh, while I'm not really spending a lot of time gaming I collect them mm -hmm. so it's important so you really have a good quality on, on the yeah. pictures but at the same time I also have a music studio so I use this for uh, wave editing and then obviously for meetings nowadays mm -hmm. so for business meetings we are all connected through screens so you use the TV as a PC at home as well yeah it is actually oh, cool. it is my eyes to the world yeah and I guess if you're going to have a window to the world, why wouldn't you have the very best window you can have? Well, that's the question I asked uh, the store person, the, sh the, the salesman. And because when I bought the TV, I said, what's the difference, right? And they said, well, this is an investment and this is cheap. <laughs> you choose. 
<laughs> well, um, before we go any more further into this, I actually have the perfect introductory video to what exactly makes this product so special. Um, so enjoy that and stay tuned because we're going to be going a lot more in depth after this. So welcome back to Samsung Live. Now, Dina, that certainly looked like something very special, but I think that the audience at home might be a, a tad confused with some of the, the technical jargon. Um, for example, what exactly does uh, Neo QLED 8K technology actually mean, and what does it do? I'm going to tell you that. So our 8K TVs are offering you a 33 million pixels, which is four times better in picture quality than a regular 4K TV. Okay, so I know 4K TVs obviously look pretty good. You're saying this is four, four times. times better than that. Yes. So as you can see here, the picture is very crisp. Uh, there's great picture quality. The, the images are so immersive. Uh, so you can enjoy a better four times picture quality than a regular 4K TV. What we have introduced new in the Neo QLED 8K is that we've added quantum mini LEDs. Those mini LEDs are very thin layers of LED backlight source mm -hmm. that is uh, equally distributed across the screen, giving you a great contrast between black and white. So in the very dark scene, you get to see them very dark or very black, and in the very bright scene, you get to see them very white. You don't see any uh, distortion of light in some areas because, like I said, the mini LEDs are scattered equally across the screen. It also uh, removes or eliminates any blooming across any objects, like a full moon, for example, appearing on a dark skylight. So you, you don't get to see any blooming around the uh, moon. Mm. Uh, the size of those uh, LEDs or mini LEDs, we've squeezed them to 40 times smaller or less than last year. And it's compared to what the conventional TVs in the market has, it's also 40 times less. So shrinking the size of the mini LEDs made us also shrink the size of the TV, having a slimmer design. Hmm. Sagan, did you get all that? Now it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so when she explains mm. it, right, because, you know, the terminologies might be difficult for consumers, but I believe when, when you told us that the contrast is stronger, that you... Because people have these experiences when they watch movies on bad TV screens. And when you explain it that you have this technology and you own it, right? Yeah, we do. So nobody else can have it. Nobody else can have it. Now, we actually have a video that will explain um, some of the intricacies of what makes this picture quality so good. Um, and we're going to run that right now. Welcome back to Samsung's Livecast. Now, we are talking about Samsung's brand new Neo QLED 8K technology in its latest television screens. Um, and of course, you should absolutely make use of the comments box and ask questions because we're either going to answer them live or a helpful Samsung rep is going to answer it right there 
in the comments for you. Now, actually, I have a question for, for you, uh, Dina. Um, I know a lot about Samsung, and I know that a lot of things happen behind the scenes in all of its products um, that makes your life a little bit easier. Um, and in this case, I think, I suspect there's something happening that is actually making this screen look as sharp, as detailed, and as clear as it is. Am I right? Yes, you're right. It happens in the processor. So this TV uh, has a Neo QLED a quantum processor, 8K processor, okay? So the processor is exactly where everything gets done. So any, any option gets performed there, any task gets to happen there inside the processor. Uh, we, we manufacture the TV, we manufacture the processor since we have an experience of more than 30 years in semiconductor manufacturing. And we also uh, make the software that runs the TV, which is Tizen, our operating system. Mm. So this all happens inside the quantum processor 8K. So you're telling me it has a brain? It has a brain. It's an, it's an artificial intelligent brain. <laughs> Um, AI brain. <laughs> an AI brain. It's probably, it's probably smarter than me, to be honest. Um, I know picture quality is incredibly important, but, but these days I think a lot of people want their smart TVs to be that. They want, they want it to be smart um, and they want features, which kind of leads me nicely on to um, gaming. Um, so I play a lot of games. Sagan, you have a whole console collection. Um, mm -hmm. I imagine gaming is pretty important to you. Well, it brings me back to my uh, teenager times. So if you look at the screen resolutions when I was a bit younger and today, it looks like you're really in those games. Mm. Right? So mm. And the screen has a brain, it gets really scary. Yeah. <laughs> you know why you see this uh, resolution better nowadays? Because we have artificial intelligence upscaling. Mm. So the TV is capable of upscaling any content from any source up to an 8K uh, picture resolution. So that's why it gives a difference from what you used to play. Uh, when so you let were me kid. try to translate. That means it doesn't really have a, a good uh, picture quality but the screen makes it good no it upgrades the level of your picture so let's say the picture is a high definition picture or a 4k picture so the TV has a multilingual uh, or multi neural networks where it can copy and paste similar images and paste Amazing. them to the picture and then upgrade the level of the picture to make it look as it's an 8k yeah. so then so in, in, in gaming kind of one of the one of the reasons why I, I'm quite good at gaming I'm not quite good at gaming, but you know, let's just go with it. One of the reasons why I'm pretty good at gaming um, is because kind of my TV um, effectively can show me things that no one else can see. Yes. Uh, this TV can do that, right? Yes. Uh, the TV is also equipped with HDR10 Plus, in which you can see all the hidden details uh, like the creators of the content has intended to do. Oh, okay. So if you're playing any uh, game in a dark uh, area or a dark scene, you can still see your enemy hiding behind the barrels because you can see all the hidden details in the scene. Mm -mm. So that's the TV for winners. It is. Um, I understand that they've, this has got a... This has got a, a game bar, is that correct? Yes, a game bar is a new feature that we launched this year. Uh, it's as easy as just pressing and holding your play and pause button on the TV remote control, and then the game bar gets launched. Uh, in the game bar, you can change or switch the screen ratio if you want it an ultra wide, a bigger screen size or a normal size. You can check what Bluetooth devices are connected to the TV. You can check how many frames per second. Mm -hmm. So it's a user interface that gives you uh, more information about your game. So you said, yeah, I can change the ratio. Yes. So that's going to be super handy for someone who has a games console collection uh, of which has all, they have all different ratios. Exactly. So now all gamers at home, you don't need to buy a separate uh, gaming monitor because this TV is offering you a 21 to 9 and a 32 to 9 screen size ratio. So you can switch between both and you play with a super ultra wide game and win all your games. Um, now Sagan, do you play a lot of shooter games? I'm good at getting shot. But, uh, <laughs> Actually, when I do find time, I do. Otherwise, my team is actually really interested in that. Well, yeah, I'm kind of with you. I'm, I'm also good at, I'm, I'm very good at tracking bullets in these sort of games and less about kind of putting them out there. But Dina, there's a, a feature in this uh, TV that actually might change that. Yes, uh, next time I can guarantee that you both are going to win. <laughs> <laughs> this TV is offering you uh, AMD Free Synchronization Premium Pro, and it's actually the first TV to offer this feature. So there's no more staring, there's no more juddering, no uh, blurring. The motion goes very speed and very smooth across your gaming console. 
and smoother is kind of always better, especially when you're dealing with games where precision is, is everything. Exactly. The TV is offering also a 5.8 milliframes per second and a 4K at 120 hertz. All right, well, I'm going to throw a, a challenge out to you now, and we'll see if this TV can do it. Okay. Let's say, for example, uh, Sagan wants to be playing his video game. Um, I want to be watching a cartoon, and you want to be watching your favorite documentary. Okay. Can it handle it? Of course it can. Was that a challenge? <laughs> All right, so this TV is offering a multi-view experience in which you can see more than one screen, okay? First of all, we need to pair one... Uh, okay, so we can see three parts. Yeah. One of them should be your mobile phone, yeah. okay? So we pair the phone or we mirror the phone to the TV either by using the screen mirroring option on the phone itself or by just tapping the TV to the phone. Cool. Okay? And then here you get one of the screens, your mobile phone. And then you can enjoy two other contents, YouTube, Internet Explorer, or whatever content sale. Does it just split it? Or? Let me show you. So oh, here we go. Phone. Oh, nice. And that's the YouTube. You know, that really was seamless. It's very rare that these sort of live things actually work that, yeah. that well. <laughs> you can add up to three screens at the same time. What about the sound? Ah, that's a great question. All right, you, you can mute both sounds. You can play both sounds at the same time. You can uh, control 70% on one screen and 30% on the other. So there's no need to have them both muted at the same time. But okay. here you're gonna tell me and how are the many audience sitting around the TV enjoy the sound because it's going to be very distractive. Still, one of the parts, let's say this uh, mobile, the, uh, an audience sitting around the TV can enjoy his Bluetooth and then the rest of the audience can enjoy the other part of the screen from the TV speakers itself. Excellent. So I have a uh, nifty little video that will explain kind of all of this. Um, why don't we roll that right now? Welcome back to Samsung's Livecast. Now, Sagan, we've already kind of gone over what makes this TV so great when it comes to picture quality. Um, and obviously, picture quality is incredibly important. It's a TV. But that's only kind of part of the overall entertainment package. How important is audio for you? I mean, you just said it. It has to be part of the package. I don't think it just... You can't just have a nice picture, but then it sounds... Bad, yeah, right? it's like wearing a tailor-made suit with flip-flops. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work, so it really needs to fit. And I think that's where people really get the whole package of quality. It's audio, audio and video. Yeah, yeah. And I think we, we mentioned this kind of quickly at the top, but uh, Dina, you mentioned before that actually this is very capable when it comes to audio. Yes. So uh, like, like Sagan had just said, if we're going to offer the best picture quality in the market, then we also need to offer the best sound quality in the market. Uh, you can pair your TV with a sound bar and then enjoy the Q-Symphony feature. It gives you a surround sound where which you can listen to your music or uh, any matches that you are watching or uh, watching any TV content in a better harmonized uh, experience. The best thing is you don't need to mute the TV speakers. So still they both work together simultaneously. Okay, wow, that's really, that's really interesting. Now you mentioned matches there um, and that's kind of Something that's close to my heart. Um, obviously, I'm doing quite a lot of football watching at the moment. Would you Would you say the same? I mean, when people come over, you you want to have that experience, right? Yeah, yeah. And you feel like you're in the stadium. Exactly. But, but but football actually has a really it's really hard to get good audio. So for example, I bring over you know six to eight friends, and they're all kind of piled around the living room, and what one person hears over here is different than the person sat in front. Is that the same with this? Yes. And, and th those pretty couple together will give you the ultimate sound experience. Yeah. Yeah. 
you will feel as if you're exactly in the stadium, you will feel as if you're exactly in the opera. So you'll have a great surround sound. Now, you mentioned that actually this product already has amazing sound, but I can see right here, uh, it's got a little buddy. Um, this sound bar, right? This is a whole different yes. different product, but they work together. Yes, that's the Q950A sound bar. It works simultaneously with the TV, like I said. Uh, if you pair them together, uh, and then you can enjoy the Q-Symphony feature. Um, there's also lots of other sound features available in the TV itself. Like, for example, we're offering this year the Space Fit sound. The Space Fit sound is a feature that measures uh, the distance between the TV and the wall okay. and it sees how the TV is located with your interior design. Mm. So let's say the TV is placed in the middle of a table or on the wall itself so it measures the, dis the distance and starts to generate the sound without having any echoes. Okay, wow. So the sound does not reflect back to you. So it maps the room and then just automatically says this is the best sound configuration for you. Exactly, exactly. There's also plenty of other features. So like uh, the AVA active voice amplifier. Yeah. Let's assume you are, uh, your wife has turned on a blender in the kitchen or she's cleaning the, uh, the living room while you're watching TV. So the, the noise coming out from the vacuum cleaner will, uh, cleaning will disturb your viewing experience and your audio experience as well. Mm -hmm. So what the TV does is it doesn't just raise the whole volume of the TV. No, it just filters or amplifies the speech, mm -hmm. the dialogues. So then you can hear the dialogue oh, going wow. smooth. And then once the TV detects that this noise is switched off, automatically the settings will go back to normal. So Sagan, I know you enjoy your vlogs. This seems like the perfect, perfect setting for no, that. That is really impressive. Mm. I mean, this is, this is smart. Yeah. This is really smart. I like that. <laughs> One more thing. Yeah. Object Tracking Sound Pro. So the TV has a feature in which the sound follows the object wherever it goes. So let's assume you are watching a flight that is taking off from the east to the west. So you will also hear the sound oh, of the wow. TV or the flight coming from the right side moving across the speakers to the left. Yeah. So it's exactly matching the sound and the picture together. So um, I'm going to let everyone in uh, watching at home a secret. I'm a really big audiophile, so this may get a little bit techy. Um, let's talk codecs. They're a little bit boring, but they are very important when it comes to audio. Yeah, this TV also supports codecs like uh, Dolby Atmos and DTSX. So you can enjoy an immersive audio experience either by listening to music or uh, connecting a soundbar um, or watching a, a, a movie or anything yeah. that supports uh, codecs. So you can still enjoy it here. And I know that there's an awful lot of channels that this combination can output, correct? We have the ODs, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the new thing that we've done this year is that we've added also shortcuts on the remote control itself. Cool. VOD shortcuts. So you can easily access uh, Shahed, Prime Videos, Netflix just by pressing one button. Cool. Well, actually, why don't we go um, a little bit more in depth with that soundbar? Um, and yes, I have a video for that too. To love someone, you have to love yourself first. As you might know, I didn't love myself then. As you might know, I didn't love myself then. Maybe it's evidence. music.
and welcome back to Samsung Live. Now we are here talking about Samsung's innovative new Neo QLED 8K technology in screens like this. And we just saw an interesting video about its sound bar buddy. Now, Dina, that was a quite a clever accessory. I understand it's not the only one that's associated with this. No, no, it's not. Uh, well, let me be frank, Tom. Uh, Samsung is not only focusing on being the best consumer TV in the market. Now that we've been the best for the past consecutive 15 years, we also have a social responsibility towards the environment and the planet that we live in. So this year we have manufactured the solar cell remote control. Okay, so no batteries. No batteries. They're gone. We are saving the wasted batteries, the, those AA+, plus, the triple A+, plus, 4A+, plus, those batteries. We are wasting, uh, we, we are saving tons of wasted batteries uh, for the environment. So it's, we're going to go solar, we're going green. Uh, you you want to know how we charge it? With light. Could you guess? <laughs> I guess with light, but I might be wrong. Go ahead. Solar energy, sun, light? Yes, yes, it, it's part of it. Yes, you can, you can charge this remote control with the external sunlight or the indoor lighting in the living room. Uh, also, there's a USB connector in which you can connect the USB and charge the remote control as well. But it charges all the time anyway, right? While yeah. there's light. While the lights are running in the room, all the time it's getting charged. So there's no chance that the battery will die. So that's excellent. So that means I never need to worry about ever having to change batteries ever again. No more batteries. Well, let's move on to uh, another kind of personal thing that I don't enjoy, um, which is cables. Sagan, I imagine your, your flat is quite tidy. Um, I imagine you don't have cables everywhere, do you? I mean, who likes cables? Like, that must be the weirdest person on earth, right? So <laughs> I actually made a fake wall behind my TV to avoid cables, right? So. If this comes without cables, that's perfect. So yeah, is there a way that Sagan does not have to build a fake wall in, so, in order to keep his flat looking tidy? I can imagine what you did. You had a, a mess of lousy wires falling from the TV itself down to the floor, yeah. right? Yeah. So then you had to build something at the back and then hide those. Correct. With a slim one connect box, you don't need to have all this. All your gaming console, external devices are directly connected to this uh, piece, yep. the slim connect box, and then it's attached at the back of the TV. Mm -hmm. In case you want to mount the TV on the wall, all you need to do is just remove this part, keep it aside, it takes about five meters away from the TV, and just enjoy the immersiveness of your TV on the great wall. So uh, kind of let's begin with, um, well, with a good one for you, Sagan. Um, what is your favorite feature? The avoiding fights feature. That's the <laughs> okay. split screen. <laughs> like, I want to watch this, you want to watch that, so you watch both. <laughs> so you call it the avoiding fights yeah. feature? <laughs> watch them both. That's a great thing. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, that is one that is well, one you can add to the next, the next model. It's called multi-view. <laughs> peace feature. <laughs> multi-view, avoiding yeah, fight the feature. peace feature. <laughs> um, Adina, we have one for you, which is regarding um, in what size TVs does the Neo Q LED 8K technology come in? Okay. So this new QLED 8K comes in 65, 75, and 85 inches. All right, very cool. Um, Sagan, which one would you get? 85. <laughs> 85. The biggest is the best. Go big or go home, right? Yeah. 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 Super big TVs are always the best. Um, we've got one, another one to come in um, asking about the, the sound bar and the remote control. Um, do these come in the, in the box for all of them? Yeah, the TV comes with a separate remote control and the sound bar, bar comes with a separate remote control. However, you can still control all the devices connected to the TV with the TV remote control. So no, no need to hold multi remotes at the same time. Mm -mm. Just use your TV remote control and control the game console, control the sound bar, control the cable, the wireless cable, control whatever device is connected to the TV. Mm -mm. Um, okay, another one for Sagan. This is from someone who's actually been paying attention. Um, they said, Sagan, you mentioned that you have a previous Samsung model, but not this one. They're asking if you're going to upgrade. Always. Yeah? Yeah. Are you someone that w c can have uh, last year's tech in your house? I can have everything. But I, I'm sure I'm going to get this one because <laughs> how much discount do I get? 
<laughs> well, okay. So this is a this is a <laughs> you, you've given the you've given the um, you've kind of let the, the cat out the bag here. So um, and we're running out of time. Um, but one of the great things for everyone kind of st who stayed watching or is tuning in right now is that actually Sagan has a little bit of a treat. Um, I understand you have a personal voucher code. Yes, uh, and it's called Sagan. So if you know how to spell my name, zero one. And that will actually get you some really exclusive discounts on this product um, and a few more. And unfortunately, that is all we have time for. Now, Dina, did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. It was a pleasure being around you both here. And I want to thank all our great audience at home for watching us. Samsung friends, We'll be seeing you very soon with more episodes from Life, Lifecast where we will be showcasing other products from 2021 lineup. So we'll see you soon. From all the Samsung family, we are wishing you a blessed evening and stay safe and take care of you. Absolutely. Now, Sagan, this was your first Livecast. Did you enjoy it? I did. I did. Thank you for having me. Are you going to be back is more important question. Give me a reason why I shouldn't. <laughs> well, I absolutely cannot. Um, and that is kind of all from us. So once again, uh, please do use Sagan's special offer code, which is Sagan01. Um, and you can avail that by the code, uh, by the URL that has just popped up in front of me as if by magic. Other than that, this has been Samsung's Livecast. I have been Tom, and I wish you a very good evening.